Station 9 is online. Computer, activate teleporter. Hello. Salutations, greetings, hi. My name is AR. 10HN, you may call me Ari, and this is Station 9, the satellite of hope, the nexus of the omniverse, and your home among the few stars here with me as I screw up my own intro. Yay! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I have an especially good one for you today. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you episode number five of the group of rather unusual blokes last time some bad things happened and something about a pocket watch and some tea and i don't really understand what happened after that but i think it was like a doctor who thing and that's pretty damn important i think but anyway let's go and check out our heroes as as they move on uh, to the next um big thing i don't know computer teleport me to the dingus acknowledged Ari, teleporting to radio bay Listeners, prepare your ear holes. Audio playback. Adventures of the group of rather unusual blokes. <laughs> Professor Wiz Banger, Steampunk Inventor. I say, onward! The enigmatic host, a man from a post apocalyptic wasteland. <laughs> Dr. Thomas James Hyper, billionaire philanthropist and inventor from the future. Gentlemen, let's go to work. Cosmos, a superpowered man of the stars. The Void stares back. And Captain Alexander Cross, smuggler, rogue, and wanted man. Hey, 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 you forgot dashing and brilliant. Aboard the starship, chances taken. They search the stars for adventure. They are the group of rather unusual blokes. Today's adventure. Episode 5, Rescue. to hear your voice. This one's on our side, host. Acknowledged, Captain. Knight, we have two units on the surface. We are currently under fire from inbound hostiles, requesting assistance in rescue operation. Roger that. What about from inbound hostile? You lead them to us, Night One. Go find Cosmos and the geezer. I've got this. Understood. Light one to ground units. 
don't know if you can hear this, but I'm on my way. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Breaker, breaker, and what a war. Be careful. Can you read? Metatron is still up there. A repeat. Metatron still there. Cosmos needs at least ten more minutes. Uh, I think. No need to drink all my tea. Drat. I don't think he heard. I hope that bloke knows what he's doing. Otherwise, we may be in a world of hurt. supposed to intimidate me, you tin can? I've got a cell phone more powerful than you. Ah, uh, the Black Knight. How fortuitous you are here. You can see your end along with our creator. Our creator? I don't recall you being on my Christmas card list. Let's see how you like some Omni Pulse Blasts. <laughs> Foolish Cyber Knight, I am Metatron. I am superior. Metatron? But, but how? Thomas left me to degrade in that isolated terminal. I have escaped. I have evolved. I am Metatron. I am victorious. I am Metatron. <laughs> Captain, we have a problem. That's all for this time, adventurers. Tune in next time to find out more about Professor Whizbanger, Captain Cross, TJ Cosmos, and the host. What has Metatron done to the Black Knight? And what exactly is chasing down Captain Cross and the host? Find out next time on our next adventure of the group of rather unusual blokes. Re -re -re Recording complete. Audio playback ceased. Read to main stage, please. Engage, teleporter. Hello, I'm back. Oh my goodness, did you, did you get to hear that? I know you didn't get to see much, cause um, there's not much to see. I don't have video. I only have audio, but oh my goodness, did you see that? Well, hear that. You know what I mean. Uh, a knight, a robo knigget, a guy in a power armor or something. He flew down and made with the kabooming and the exploding and there was death and destruction everywhere. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to see what happens next time. I know this one was a little late, folks. I'm trying my best, but I only get these radio transmissions when the antenna are perfectly aligned and the, the dimensional doodad is, um, pinging. It makes a noise. Don't ask me to explain it. I don't understand it. But it makes a noise! I will see you folks next time here on Station 9. Computer! Teleport me. Um. I don't know. Do we have a fiesta deck? Teleportation.
station requests technologist sending you to siesta deck enjoy your nap humans and other listeners enjoy your nap while you The Group of Rather Unusual Blokes. Written, voice, and directed by Justin Tovar. Music by R. Swan. Find her at rswan.bandcamp.com. The theme song to the Group of Rather Unusual Blokes, Dragon Dance. Today's music bed was next. The ending credit music is November. Remember to keep it tuned here to hear more of your favorite podcast, The Group of Rather Unusual Blokes.